wow. Morning, everybody. Today, we're going... We're not going back. We're not going back, Chris. We are not going back anywhere. We are going to a subscriber's house. We've had an email. Um, we've been talking talking for a while, uh, me and Mike. And we're going today to change his fuse board because he's got some up-and-coming work, but we're going to do the board first. Um, he sent a long email, so we'll get into it. We're obviously going to do a full test. Uh, we're going to go and get James. We're fitting a 20-way fuse box RC, compact RCBO board today. So massive shout-out to Consuming It Will, George. He's a top man. He's supplied the stuff for this job. So don't forget to check out the website. Link's in the description. CJR10 for 10% off fuse box plus all accessories. So if you go and get Wagos, you can get 10% off as well. Yeah, Vargos. Let's go and get James, see how he is, and we'll get to the job. It's a one-hour drive. One other thing, while I'm just waiting for James, a massive shout-out to a chap called Kip. Um, I put the uh, feelers out on Instagram. I needed a website doing, and he came forward. He said, yeah, I'll... I'd love to help you. Um, and we've been working together for two, two weeks, three weeks now. We've managed to do a website for me, um, and it's superb. So he's got a YouTube channel, so you can go and check that out. Um, yeah, you can go and check that out. And also you can, um, he's on Instagram, and he's also got a website. So I'll put his links down in the description. James has turned up. And you got a haircut you have? No. Yeah, definitely. Have you had a haircut? No. No, he hasn't had a haircut. <laughs> he hasn't had a haircut. We have not had no haircuts, we're going now. We've got one hour drive and we're gonna get a coffee first. All right, here we go. James, are you excited for this one? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hello. Are you helping us today? This cat is more useful than James. <laughs> <laughs> right, this is the board today we are changing. Um, it has had an EICR on it. So we've got some test results to compare to, um, which is nice. So we'll see what the crack is with that. Um, yeah, there's a lot, there's a few bits actually I want to sort out today, um, but we need to get this off, let's do some testing first, and then we can get on and change it. Right, board's isolated, we don't need Pablo on this one, so I will be changing these for flexes, because these, these obviously just, they were into there, but obviously they've just didn't cut them, they just left them and jabbed them into there, so we'll put some flexes on. We're gonna do some end-to-ends first on all this, look. Make sure we've I've got continuity. I can see the other guy has wrote some bits here, so it'd be interesting to compare what he's put with what I'm gonna get. Um, and before we commit to this one again, we will um, make sure we've got ring continuity, do some initial checks, um, and then we can crack on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably slipping. <laughs> <laughs> Your feet are so big. Look, even the overshoes. Don't fit on his feet. Look, look at that. What size feet are you? They're probably like 13 or 14. <laughs> oh, God. This is the first consuming I've done. And I've been able to stand. And I'm in the living room. Look, it's really nice. Um, so you could do the moonwalk in those, couldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> they look ridiculous. <laughs> Glad I ain't wearing them. Look at this. I've not even looked at this yet. Look. I don't know what. That might be Volt 3. Not sure. Let's hope it is, eh? The cats are on it. Right, we're just looking at his readings. I'm not shouting anyone out, but we had, he had 3-3, three, 3-3 three, 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 and 5-7. Um, I know testers are, are built with um, impurities, different readings and stuff. So we're just doing ours and this is what I'm getting, okay? 0 0.17 on the neutrals. So he had 3-3, three, three, nearly had double that. Um, yep. Yeah. One seven. So unless his test is out of calibration, because I know mine isn't. Um, and then we've got, sorry for the quality of filming. See, that worries me straight away when the, when the, the earths are twisted together, which tells me he hasn't really taken that out, I don't think. All right, go on, mate. Three eight. So what did he get on that? That sounds... That sounds quite promising. Oh, he had 5.7, so no. It's all sort of double what it should be. Um, we're going to just check a couple more. Well, that's good. At least we've got some continuity on that one. We'll leave it out, and then we'll just um, do the other ones quick. Right, I've got continuity on the two I've just taken out. I'm just doing this one, which is apparently kitchen sockets. There's also a spur coming off of it there. I don't know where that goes. It just goes in the cavity, because this used to be the garage. 
Um, three nine, three nine on that one. And then neutral wise, we go in here. What did he have on the RNs, mate? Three six again. Mm -hmm. So it's not a million miles away. Uh, a cat flap. Mm -hmm. Four four on that. So that doesn't that doesn't match up. And then the CPCs. I'm gonna say he hasn't tested from the board here. I'm gonna say he's tested at sockets. Mm. Yeah, because a lot of this has not not been out. Yeah, since it was since it was put in, basically. Look, it's all two behind each other. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. You, you know what I mean. You have to sort of pull it out to to test it, right? What was the um, R two? Six one. Zero point six one. Yeah. yeah. I got one point one seven. So I'm going to say that he's completely made his results up. I'm going to say that now. I think he has. I think he's made them all up. Because if you look at insulation resistance, I don't believe that in one for one second that he's got um, that all across the board. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to crack on. We've got continuity. We've got one more to do. Check continuity. And then we'll, we'll rip this board out. That's what that means. So get rid of those and then always put them in the bin james we are allowed to work on this to be fair this is our side then we can lock this off see so if you get the lockout kit it's in my test bag isn't it is it yeah it's in the in the front that's it i always carry what's important that's it so we can lock this off in the down position and still get to the tails in the top yeah which is good he's put that the right way yeah. Do you want to steal that, do you? Yeah. Right. Yeah, I'll grab that. I'll just lock this off quickly. And then and then we'll um we'll prove dead. I've got a chin a chin mask. That way. That way, Christopher. Like that. So you can't can't turn that on, yeah? And then what we'll do, we'll just lock it off. It's only a here, so we ain't gonna put the label on it. Um, like that. Like that, like that. And then we will, we'll test it here, yeah? Like we did the other day. You can prove dead to there for me, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, mate. That's your wages for the week. <laughs> You can send them to um, Batman. Batman, yeah. He'll melt them down. Yeah? Yeah, I'll do that. So top man, James, with his decent socks on, he's prepped the board. He's taking it apart for me. I've stripped everything out. I've just got to remove some bits out of the top bars here. Um, and then we can start mocking up the board. I was, I was going to put some trunk in there, but it's just, I don't know, it, it ain't no point because there's so many different bits going off here, there and everywhere. Some's going back, the old original stuff's going back through, which would have been, um, this would have been the garage wall. So that's going back through into the wall. So it's just going to be um, what I can do today just to make it look neat. And then back tomorrow to try and finish the testing off and try and rectify everything that we try and find for him. Right, obviously the board I'm fitting is bigger. So what I'm going to do is push it a little bit closer to these heating pipes. And then I can't, I can't mount the board sideways which james just suggested that we mount <laughs> that we mount it that way i've seen it done before believe it or not so we need to be away from this if it was a socket 25 mil but as this is the meter that we've got to be i think it's either 250 or 300 so we're not going to get that so i'm going to probably get a plate i'm going to get some sort of protection plate here for this just to give it some segregation yeah from these pipes just a metal plate i guess here James will be back in a minute. He'll be back in a minute. Come on. Come on then. 
Maybe back in a minute. Don't worry. Come on. Yeah, be back in a minute. Come on. I think Tsunami Plumbing's been here, look. Jesus, man. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. And this got a satisfactory. This got a satisfactory report. <laughs> we have got some old goodies in the old cavity. Look, what is that? That's an old doorbell, is it? And then an old couple of old showers, maybe, or cooker. Cooker's been rewired, maybe. So those we don't need. So we'll leave them there where they were. Like that. This is what we want. We want all this. And then I need to check now if we've got some length on these, what we can do with these. Well, I'm just going through this test sheet. I'm not going to show you the guy's name. But if you look, if you look here, I don't know if his name on there. If it is, I will take me. Okay, satisfactory. And then if we go to, if we go to observations, We've got consuming it is made from combustible material. No RCD on circuits one to eight. Let's give that a C2. It isn't a C2. And earthing to water main is six mil. It's not a C3. It could be a C3. I don't think it's a C3. But then we go to no images. And then what has he done? So how can you give this a satisfactory? When it's a C2. A C1 or C2 is an unsatisfactory. So how can you give it a satisfactory when these are all C2s? Look. They're all C2s. How? How? So that is worth that, which is not worth anything. So we're going to do it properly. So the client said there's a water stopcock is in this room behind this panel. What do you think is going to be behind it, James? A head, just a head staring at us. He said the water bond is in a six mil. Um, <laughs> the water bond isn't... And it's leaking. Oh, no. <laughs> so this is the main stopcock, is it? Where is it? Where is it then? Oh, it comes through the ground there. In copper. It's got a weird... But that is the... It's there. 10 mil's been put in. So what, he couldn't just connect that to there, could he? He had to put that down. That was a C3, but there is a water bond there. He didn't look in here, did he? I don't think he looked in here, do you? Probably not. <sighs> yeah, let me take that, please. Thank you. Okay, you can have that. Have that. Good. Put that in your um, your lock off kit. You got lock off, haven't you? You got an ideal one. You can put that with it. Little padlock, yeah. Righty ho. Board is mounted. As you can see, what I did, I cut down some metal couplers. I just cut some metal couplers down, dead enough, and it's perfectly. Straight. These will come straight back entry. I will try and get the insulation into the board. Um, and then when we finished here, we will seal these up with the fire, um, not fire foam like a lot of people do, but fire um, intermittent mastic. Um, it's nice stepping this off so we can just take the cable straight in the back and you don't end up with a load of gaping holes everywhere. Obviously, we'll have one here for the tails. I could take them straight up and in here, but I do like these to have a a clamp on them that we have got this but again um i'll do that so what we need to do now is get our grommet strip put on it's it's easier to do it after because i've fought with these so much and then it's fallen off so may as well do it now we'll then glue it we'll glue it on like we did before and then we can start sorting all these circuits out right new boards mounted we have glued in the um that's just the activator there look Oh, that is a bit of glue. That's fine. It's gone off rock solid, look. We've glued them in, so um, fingers crossed they don't come out this time. Um, when we when that's gone off, we're going to get the rest of the cables up 
on this one, we're not going to be able to get them main switch and then load. We're just going to have to get them where we can get them because, again, we're fighting with length. Um, but I've managed to get these all in so they're inside the consuming it rather than insulation not being inside. Even though it's behind, it wouldn't ma matter. It's just nice to get the double insulation inside. So as you can see now, all my cables are straight. They're pulled nice and straight. Um, James has unpacked all of the RCBOs. We're now going to get them in some sort of order, get them into here and then start making this off. Right, progression. We've got our tail clamp in. I do like these tail clamps. Tails in, they're gonna run straight in and go straight into the isolator. Um, I'm just working through now. I'm gonna try and get these where I can. That's cooker. And then we're probably gonna have a couple of six amps and then a 32 and then a 16. It's all gonna be mixed, but it'll all make sense um, when we finished it. Right, we've had a little bite to eat. I see I'm getting the cables um, dressed in now. James is having a bit of a sit down. He's a bit tired, bless him. To be fair, he's writing all the details down and giving me the breakers when I want them, uh, RCBOs, I should say. So I'm just trying to dress these in as, as neat as I can and leave some length, yeah? Leave some length, um, get them dressed in. I'm gonna make these holes good when I'm finished. Um, there's bits like this, look. This, I think this does some power out there. I'm not entirely sure yet, but we haven't got into that. And I'm definitely gonna put some non-combustible material here just to segregate this. So that's tomorrow, we're gonna get something, James, yeah. to put here, I don't know what yet, but we will. Well, I've done the deed of filling up my holes, look. Spodged them with me fire, mate. Everflex, it's good stuff. Does not react with the cables. We're gonna get all these CPCs put away now. The pigeon, he thinks he's gonna go outside and catch a pigeon through a glass window. <laughs> Come on, give me my sleeve it back. <laughs> There we go, not too bad. We were sealed, earths are in. Everything's identifiable. I'm gonna put the bar in now. I've done my tails with a little loop. Um, earth CPC is going straight into the PME. And then they brought the gas bond out. So I've not changed that, gas bond comes up, goes straight over to there, which is fine. Uh, and we will connect that water that's there on the, uh, we've disconnected the six mil, we've put the 10 mil on, we'll put a bonding clamp on that. Yeah, we've got to do a bit more tests, then we'll be back tomorrow to finish off. If anyone wants us to come and do jobs, they have to supply biscuits like this um, like this client. I'll have a dairy milk, please, mate. Yeah, just one. You can eat the rest of them. How are you going to eat it with your mask on? Oh, no, just cut a little f a hole oh, yeah. in the mask, and then you'll, you'll, you'll be working. working. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Lovely jubbly. So I've just put that bar in, and what I've done is made sure, like previous videos, make sure you get the bar in front of the gate all the way. So I've, I've done that, and the beauty of this drill is, I'm not putting any torque on these, okay? I'm literally just, just for speed, look, and then as soon as, there's no, there's no hammer, and then I can just make sure that they all bite up. That's the beauty of this number one speed on this gun. Okay, and then what James has done is set me up. Right here, why has he set me up, mate? He set me up with a torque screwdriver. And we're on two and a half at the minute. So these are all two and a half along the bottom. So do the SPD first. Two, three, and then we do all the all the bottom row. <sighs> See, 
Now I can still do that up without the without the drill. The drill hasn't tightened it up. It's me that's tightening it with this. So now I'll just move on to these, go to these nets because they're two and then these are all 1.2. I've never ever seen a bonding clamp like that. How he never picked that up on an EICR, I have no idea. Right, we are, <laughs> we're back tomorrow now. We're done today. We've done the board, done all the initial checks. We will be back. <laughs> we'll be back tomorrow to finish this one off. Hopefully we don't find too much wrong. Let's get in there. Epic climb. Did I miss leaving that, mate? Come on, what are you doing? James will be back in a minute. Come on. He'll be back in a minute. Come on. Come on then. Come on. Does anyone want any contactum before I chuck this in the bin? This is a one-time special deal of a lifetime. Give me a DM, and if you want it, I'll send it to you. It's a bit busy today at Starbucks.